Hello everyone, let's discuss one very important topic of management which is coordination. Let's try to understand the meaning of coordination. Coordination is the unification, integration, synchronization of the effort of group members in pursuit of common goals. So, where is coordination? Where is coordination? Integration is the efforts of individuals. The individual efforts are the same as they are in the same way. The desired goal is achieved and all of them are in the same way. The same way. This is what coordination is. Now let's talk about features of coordination. The first feature is coordination is a continuous process. So coordination is not a one shot deal, rather it is a continuous process which means if we have one activity complete, so there are series of activities which are awaiting which we have to coordinate with people, which means that their efforts are synchronized and we will be able to achieve the desired goal. So coordination is a continuous process. Second one is pervasive function. What do we mean by pervasive? Pervasive means जो कि सर्वव्यापक है या फिर which is applicable everywhere. So coordination has to be there in every level of management, whether it is top level, middle level or lower level. Also हर functions में हमें coordination देखने को मिलेगा, चाहे आप planning stage में हैं, organizing में हैं, staffing में हैं, directing में हैं या फिर controlling में हैं. तो हम कह सकते हैं that coordination is the essence of management. ये एक this is a thread that all the functions of management, co-planning, organizing, staffing, directing, controlling Also it is applicable in all the organizations whether it is a small organization or a big organization Profit or non-profit making, manufacturing or service So we can say coordination is a pervasive function Next one is deliberate what do you understand by deliberate? Deliberate means which you do intentionally, which you are purposeful, which you are willingly. So, what is coordination? It is a deliberate function. When the employees or members have no willingness to coordinate with them, then this function can't be complete. Next one is it ensures unity of action. So, if coordination is good with you, then it will be a good work with unity and ultimately your outcome will be definitely good as compared to the individual efforts. Next one is it integrates group efforts. As we know in an organization there are people from different backgrounds. They have their different interest area. They have their different expertise. So, we have to do efforts with the individual efforts. We have to do this way to synchronize them. So, they have to go in one direction. So, the goals that are set or the targets or the objectives can be achieved. And with the individual efforts, desires or individual goals can be achieved. I hope the features of coordination are clear to you. Now coordination is not one of the function of management, rather it is the essence of management. Whatever functions of management we have, whether it is planning, organizing, staffing, directing or controlling, coordination is a thread that works in all the functions of management. In every stage, we need to have the coordination of coordination, in every level, and in every management of every function, we need coordination. Now let's try to understand coordination with the help of an example. I think this is clear to you that coordination is a pervasive function. That means it is applied everywhere. Her level pay apply hoga. Management ke her function pay apply hoga. And it is going to apply in all functional areas of management. Whether it is HR department, finance department, marketing department or research and development department. Ab in department mein jo individuals kaam kar rahe hai, unke efforts ko synchronize karna hai. Matlab department mein to coordination hona chahiye. Plus, ye saare department aapas mein bhi interdependent hai. So there has to be coordination among the different functional areas, among the different departmental areas also. Now, the research and development team will depend on how much you have finance is procured. If you have finance procured, then the research and development will be able to spend so much on the research. If you talk about marketing and sales, the amount of the production will be able to sell it much more. Or we can say that if the demand is more, sales is more, then ultimately we have to increase the production. If the demand is less, then maybe we have to spend more on the marketing more on marketing and all those things. So all these departments are interlinked, interdependent. In me coordination karke hi organization will be able to achieve its goal. Thanks for watching the video. Keep learning and keep growing.